evening. Welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing today? Oh, I'm over here at the Co Garden, and it's such a beautiful day out. I thought I would show you our herb box, and um, I came over and I made a whoopsie. I for I planted sage and rosemary, and I forgot to put the markers in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Then I'll take you over to the bigger part of the garden, and we're going to do a little bit of weeding and um, adding a few more plants and it doesn't look like much right now but it will before the end of the summer it'll be absolutely beautiful thank you and while you're here please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video so here is the herb garden that is over at the co garden um, in here we have some parsley and that is moss parsley from Baker's Creek. Then down here we have a little baby itty bitty wild thyme growing. And we planted sage the other day and rosemary. And over here we have chives growing, looking good. Um, I've noticed that there's some weeds growing through here. So I'm just gonna go through and be picking these little ones out these are not a part of our herb garden and today we're just going to be spending the day with paisley we're going to be doing lots of things and later on there's a surprise now in the uh pro garden i'm going to show you a little bit here got to do a little bit of weeding here as well here is our little makeshift trellis that we made and down here, you can see, we have peas growing. We're really excited about that. So we have a total of about 20 pea vines growing. And they will grow up this trellis and have plenty of space so that they can produce some great little sugar snap peas. Then I have this handy dandy tool that I'm going to be using today. And you can see the little spikes down here that are pretty sharp. And I will uh, put a link to that um, at the bottom of this video. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you a little bit of what it does. Find something here. We'll go with this dandelion first. And you just go through like that back and forth and it will pull the weeds out for you cool huh out here weeding the garden I just wanted to uh, show you something here these are dandelions I'm sure everybody knows they will take root but there's something interesting about the dandelion. Did you know that you can eat every part of this? Most people look at it as a weed and it is a weed, but technically it's fruit. You can fry up the dandelion heads. You can also use the flowers to make a tea. You can use the flowers to make dandelion jelly. You can also eat the greens in the early spring in your salads. And then these right here, the little roots, you can dry them out and ground them up and make dandelion coffee as well. So the dandelion, although it can be a pest, can also be food. So look into that and research it some more. I know that I'm planning on making dandelion jelly here soon. Um, and hopefully you guys will be able to come along for that as well. After working hard out here, I think I am done with the co-garden for today, and um, we'll be planting some more things starting next week, so hopefully I can share that with you. And we're going to move on to our next item of the day. We are at everybody's favorite big box store. Uh, we won't mention any names, but I'm sure that you will know where I'm at. And um, everyone's been asking about like canning jars and things. Well, here's our shelves. Now, I am 
shocked that they have a couple in of these. But the price, I believe, has went up. It's like $8.48 a box. So that's kind of high from what we're used to. I think I have plenty of jars at home. If not, we will make do. I can always... There's other options like dehydrating and freezing. But, yeah, they have a couple of pickling vinegars in. They do have the... Mrs. Wages pickles and pasta sauce and salsa. I make my own, but uh, sometimes that's a little easier. Oh, I do need one of these. That'll be good for the dandelion jelly. I think that's all I need in this section. Here at the baby section. Nope, no babies here. The only baby we have is little Carmen in the house. But I do have a uh, great, great nephew being born in May. And the baby shower is tomorrow. So I came by to get some pampers for him. And then I have a special little surprise from Grandpa in Heaven that I think that they will really enjoy. So I got that. Now we're going to head over to the shampoo aisle for babies. They had these little kits last time. I thought it was cute. Oh yeah, they're the Johnson Sleepy Time Baby Gift Set. I always thought these things were so nice to have. Uh, they're made with uh, lavender and they are relaxing natural calm aroma to help soothe the babies before bed. I thought that they would enjoy that. And I'm looking for some other things here. Hmm. We got saline drops, baby lotion, which is already part of that kit. And they got quite a few things for little ones here. We are back in the car. Uh, we left the big box store and we came home and had a little bit of lunch and dropped the family off. Now we're headed to our special guest house today, um, so you can see what the surprise is. It may not be a as big as a surprise for you all, but it's a huge surprise for me. I'm so excited. So um, stay tuned because we'll be there soon. All right, friends. We are back here with my friend, Jen, and um, I'm going to turn you around and uh, introduce you to her and then you can see what we're doing. Hi guys, I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jennifer. All right, so what are we doing today, Jen? Um, we're just doing a decal for Miss Paisley's Girl in Life Garden. All right, we're going to put it on the back of the car so everyone can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and video and let her do her thing. <laughs> and she also has a page that you guys can go to. I'll put the link down below. We'll tell you more about that after we're done with this. Make sure you flatten it on and get the kind of look All right. 
right? Right. You grab this for you and then come over this way. Yeah, I can't Okay. Isn't that looking pretty? All right, y'all, there it is. That's my little surprise today. Remember, most important thing to do, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right. So, Jen, tell us about your page and uh, the name of it so that they can go there and uh, like your page and get anything that they need. Okay, um, my business is called Goobers and Gifts, and it's actually named after my grandma. I something she also used to call everything. Um, and basically, I do everything. Tumblers, um, decals, picture frames, just anything you can really think of. So if you want to like my page, feel free to message me anytime. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jen. Uh, so yeah, go down uh, to, it's in Facebook, uh, her page. I will put the link in there for you and like her page and then contact her for anything that you need. You know, I'm all about supporting small businesses and she's not only my friend, she's my son-in-law's sister and we've known each other for many, many years and I really appreciate her. So um, with that, we are headed to my sister's house to cut her hair, um, I probably will not video there just because my sister and her husband, they foster children and we don't want to put their identity out there in the public forum. So I will see you guys when we get back to the house. Well, I uh, closed out the video yesterday. Um, for some reason, we had technical difficulties with the volume, and I didn't want to leave you guys just hanging. So um, we are outside in the apartment garden. Um, before I show you the uh, growth and what's going on out here, uh, if you could please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Um, so far, we're doing pretty well. We have our thyme is growing nicely. And then over here is our kohlrabi. And we have some parsley growing over there. And then um, over by the duck here, <clears throat> I planted some sunflowers. My husband enjoys those. And then um, an update on our Dollar Tree garden tier is doing very well. I added some more chives um, to do a little bit of session sowing. So the chives are doing very well. Strawberries haven't germinated yet. Parsley is doing beautiful. Spinach is doing beautiful. The arugula is doing very well. 
and the lettuce. So it's doing pretty good out here. Um, this week I plan on doing some dandelion jelly, so I'll show you that process. And um, then we're going to start hardening off a few more of our garden goodies, so we'll explain that later on in a different video. But again, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for coming back and watching our videos and um, sharing and doing all that wonderful stuff. We truly appreciate you. We love you. God bless you. And I hope you...